Hi there everyone, welcome to Tech Cravers. So Nintendo recently released a new firmware update for their Nintendo 2DS and 3DS models, once again claiming to make further improvements to overall system stability, system security and other minor adjustments that have been made to enhance the user's experience. But we all know why they really do it. And in case it's not crystal clear already, this is how Nintendo keeps trying to derail the modding community. Anyway, this new firmware is called 11.17.050 and depending on if you have a US, European or Japanese console, you will also see a U, E or J next to it. Now this next part is important. As for the time of making this video, there is no easy exploit we can use to hack our 3DS or 2DS if we update to the latest firmware. So don't update your firmware to 11.17 until after you have hacked your device on a lower firmware. If you already have a 3DS or 2DS with custom firmware and Luma 3DS version 11 or newer installed, well, good for you, then you can just go ahead and update your device. But if you're like me and you have a unhacked device and want to hack it, and you're also lucky enough to have a firmware that's below 11.17, then you might wonder how to hack it and then update it to the latest firmware. In this video, I will show you how to hack this awesome Pokemon themed 2 2DS that I picked up on second hand. It's currently on firmware 11.2.035e and in this video I will show you how you can hack devices with this specific firmware installed. If you have a newer firmware on your device already like 11.16 I have a video out on how to hack that version as well. So go watch that video instead. But now let's get to it. The first thing you want to make sure before starting to hack your device is that you're not already on custom firmware. This is of course most important if you bought your 2DS or 3DS from someone else in second hand. And it's actually very easy to check. Make sure that your device is powered off, then hold the select button while starting the device and keep holding select until you either see the 3DS home screen or an unusual menu saying something about Luma 3DS. If you see the latter, that means your device is hacked already, but as you can see my device boots straight into the home screen, meaning it has not been hacked yet. And before we keep going, we also need to make sure that we have an SD card or a micro SD card with a SD card adapter. I will use a 32GB micro SD card in this guide and this SD card adapter. Once we have that, use the browser on your computer and head to 3ds.hacks.guide and start clicking your way through the guide there. Eventually, you will end up at the select a method part. Here you will simply choose your 2DS or 3DS model and type in your current firmware and the guide will take you to the preferred method for your specific device. As you can see, if I choose 11.17, which is the latest firmware, you will get a text saying you'll have to wait for a method that will work. But as I'm on a lower firmware, when I type that in, it takes me straight to the sound hacks method, which is the preferred method for devices with firmware between 5 and 11.3. So now that we know which hack to use, it's time to prepare the SD card. If you haven't used the SD card in your 2DS or 3DS before, go ahead and insert it into your device, and then start your console. This will build a folder structure on the card that is needed for this to work. Once you have done that, just turn off your device again, take out your SD card, and insert it into your computer. Back on the 3DS hacks site, it's time to download all the files we need for this hack. Start by clicking sound hacks. On this new site that shows up, put in your model and choose your firmware. Once done, click on download M4A. Next, both the safe B9 installer and the boot 9 strap are direct downloads, so you can just click to download them. Luma 3DS will take you to another page again, and here you want to download the zip file. And then lastly, you want to download the other app.bin. Alright, so to the left here on my desktop are the files we just downloaded. And the folder here to the right is my SD card that we just took from the handheld. Now, copy the soundhacks.m4a to the root of your SD card. The root of the SD card refers to the initial directory on your SD card where you can see the Nintendo 3DS folder, but are not inside of it. Next, copy the other app.bin to the root of your SD card as well. Now open the Luma 3DS zip file and drag both boot.firm and boot.3dsx to the root of your SD card as well.
Now create a new folder named boot 9 strap on the root of your SD card. Now open the boot 9 strap.zip and copy the boot 9 strap.firm and boot 9 strap.firm.sha from the zip file to the boot 9 strap folder we just created on the SD card. Lastly, copy the safe b9 installer.bin from the safe b9 installer.zip to the root of your SD card. Once done, reinsert your SD card into your device and power it on. Next, we will launch the sound hacks through the sound app, which will use the other app.bin to launch the boot 9 strap installer or the custom firmware installer, as you might call it as well. So go ahead and launch Nintendo 3DS Sound. And if you have never opened Nintendo 3DS Sound before, you will get these tips on how to use it from a bird. Go through them all, then close the app normally and relaunch it again. Click on open to go to SD card and then play the file named something Nedville 2016. And apparently this might take a few times to work, and if you get a message saying that it could not play, you have probably downloaded the wrong sound hacks version for your device. And when prompted, input the key combo given on the top screen to install boot 9 strap. Once it is complete, press A to reboot your device, and your device should now be booted into Duma 3DS configurations menu. And if you see this screen on your device, it means you have successfully installed custom firmware on it. Press start to save and reboot your device. Now then, since we have the latest Luma 3DS installed, this should mean that we are okay to update to the latest firmware or firmware 11.17 as well, doesn't it? There is only one way to find out. So while being connected to Wi-Fi, simply go into other settings and scroll all the way to the right and click on system update. Click on OK, I accept and then OK once more. Now this will take a while, so go grab a coffee or something and come back when it's all done. And as you can see, we are officially now on firmware 11.17. And by powering off the device and holding select while powering it on again, we can confirm that Luma 3DS is still working and that our device is still on custom firmware. Happy times! But you didn't think we were done, did you? A 2DS or 3DS with custom firmware is nothing without the homebrews. So now I'm gonna show you how to install the most important of them. And basically it's these homebrews listed on the 3DS hacks site. Except for the Anemone 3DS as I don't like custom themes, but if you want that as well, go ahead and install it. FBI is a homebrew app that will let us install CIA apps and games later, so that's quite important. But I'll show you how to install all of them including God Mode 9, which will let you back up your whole system in case you need to reinstall everything in the future in case of breaking your device. So scroll down and download all the files listed under what you need. I'm gonna do that, but as I said, I'm skipping the Anemone 3DS one. I have downloaded the files I need and once again I have them to the left on my desktop and once again I have inserted my SD card back into my PC. Start off by creating a new folder in the root of your SD card and name it CIAS. Copy all of the CIA files, fbi.cia, homebrewlauncher.cia, universalupdater.cia and checkpoint.cia to the CIAS folder that you just recently created on your SD card. Go back and create a folder named 3DS on the root of your SD card if it does not already exist. This folder stores homebrew applications and data and it's different from the Nintendo 3DS folder that the device automatically generates. Copy the fbi.3dsx to the 3ds folder you just created on your SD card. Now create a folder named payloads in the luma folder on your SD card if it does not already exist. Open the godmode 9.zip and copy the godmode9.firm to the new payloads folder that you just created on your SD card. And then lastly, copy the gm9 folder from the godmode9.zip to the root of your SD card. 
reinsert your SD card into your device and power on your device. Now it's time to temporarily replace Download Play with Homebrew Launcher, which we need to launch FBI. Launch the Download Play application, and once you see this screen, press the left shoulder, D-pad down, and select at the same time to open the Rosalina menu. Select Miscellaneous Options, then select Switch the HB.Title to Current App, press B to continue, press B again to return to the Rosalina main menu, Press B to exit Rosalina menu. Press Home to suspend Download Play. Press the Close button on the bottom screen to close Download Play. Relaunch the Download Play application and your device should now load the Homebrew Launcher. Now we need to sync our 3DS or 2DS internal clock with the actual time and also dump the sound firmware which is necessary for some homebrew software to use sound properly. Press left shoulder D-pad down and select at the same time to open the Rosalina menu. Select miscellaneous options, select dump DSP firmware, press B, select nullify user time offset, press B to continue, press B again to return to Rosalina main menu and press B to exit the Rosalina menu. And with that done, go ahead and launch FBI so we can install some of those CIA files that we downloaded before. And this is pretty straightforward. Navigate to SD and then CIAS, which is the folder that we created on our SD card. Select current directory, select the install and delete all CIAs option, and then press A to confirm. And this will take a short while depending on how many CIAs you want to install, but once you're done, click on home and then close download play. And once you close Download Play, you will be greeted with these presents on your home screen, just as if you downloaded something of the now discontinued eShop. Open them up and now you have the homebrews installed on your device. Now this last section is where we're gonna explore something called the HChop. HChop is like the official eShop, a place where you can get access to and download all the games and DLCs that you no longer can buy from Nintendo themselves since they decided to close their own eShop forever. Now as you can imagine this is a huge grey area since it may lead to piracy and potentially illegal downloads so what you do with HChop is up to you but I still want to show you how it works. I'm not gonna link to the HChop site in this video but I'm sure you're gonna find it yourself if you have a master's degree in Google searching. And to download it you can do it in two ways. The first is a really simple way. You can actually scan this QR code using the FBI app and the cameras on your device and it will install everything for you. But to be consistent in this tutorial I'm gonna use the same method we have been using for all the homebrews lately. So I'm gonna click on direct download, put it in the CIAS folder on my SD card and then we're gonna install it through the FBI app that way instead. So as you can see I just take the 3hs.cia file and drop it inside the CIA folder here. Remove the SD card from your computer and insert it back into your device. Start up your 2DS or 3DS and tap on FBI. Once again go into SD, then to the CIAS folder that we created, then select the 3hs.cia and click install and delete CIA. Click on A and wait for the process to finish. Click on OK, then the Home button, and you will be greeted with a new package on your home screen. Unwrap it, and you'll find the HChop right there. In the HChop, you can choose from different categories and regions, and you will find pretty much every game that you can think of. Once you have found the game you want to download, just click OK two times and the installation process will begin. Wait for it to finish and you will find another package on your home screen. And that's been it for this guide on how to hack your 2DS or 3DS and update to the latest firmware as of May 2023. We have also gone through how to install homebrews and the notoriously awesome HChop. I had planned to show you how to back up your device as well, but unfortunately that recorded material was corrupt, so I couldn't include that here. But fear not, as I have already made a tutorial on that process and I will link to that in the video description. Make sure to follow that as well, as it might be real life saving if you happen to brick your device. 
advice. Thanks for watching this video, make sure to give it a like if you did or if it helped you out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this in the future. Catch you in the next one, Tech Cravers out!